I am not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. Do your own research. Consult a professional investment advisor before making any investment decisions. This show is for entertainment only. Faites vos propres recherches. Here we are. In another episode. Of the Simple Success Podcast. And this is Financial Life Coaching from a Happiness Perspective. I'm so tired of walking down the same road every day. Nothing ever changes and it's so boring. Yeah, I know what you mean. It's like we're stuck in a rut and can't get out. It's certainly better than being stuck in a moment and not being able to get out of it. Well, why don't we pave our own road? You mean we don't have to follow the same old route? Yeah, we don't have to follow the same old route. That's a great idea. No wrong path here. I'm ready to take on the challenge. Me too. Let's do it. All right, let's get started then. Where should we begin? Begin at the beginning. We won't get past the inspirational quote thing without it. Okay, so first we need to decide where we want to go. What kind of path do we want to create? Well, I think it should be something that will benefit us and others. Something that will make a difference in the world. That is a great idea. Let's brainstorm some ideas and see what we come up with. Wait, does this have something to do with goals? You know it does, dude. We need to set some goals for ourselves and figure out how we can achieve them. So let's start by writing down our ideas and break them down. Yes, and then break them down into smaller steps that we can take to get there. Perfecto. That way, we'll have a clear plan of action and be able to track our progress along the way. You know how much I love and preach goals. Real outcomes for real people. Goals are essential for success and they help keep us motivated. Absolutely. So let's get started on setting our goals and paving our own road to success. Okay, now I know the examples are mostly in the middle part of this. Yeah, but outline what the three biggest examples are. More teasing. Great. Okay, so the three biggest examples of goals we should set are, one, setting a timeline for our progress and milestones, two, creating achievable goals that will help us reach our desired outcome, and three, making sure to stay motivated and focused on our goal throughout the process. Good. And this connects to Dolly's quote, how? Well, this connects to Dolly's quote because it emphasizes the importance of taking initiative and creating our own path. But Don't we have to follow the well-paved road? No, we don't have to follow the same route as everyone else. We can make our own way and achieve success on our own terms. I take it that's what she did. Exactly. Dolly Parton is a great example of someone who paved her own road and achieved success on her own terms. She followed her dreams and worked hard to make them come true. And that's exactly what we should be doing too. But geez, Dolly Parton, what makes us think we can do it too? We can do it too. We just have to believe in ourselves and have the courage to take risks in this path of life. It won't be easy, but if we stay focused and motivated, we we can can make our our dreams dreams come true true, just like Dolly Dolly Parton Parton did. did. Okay, I'm down with that. What's the best way to stay focused? The best way to stay focused is to set achievable goals and break them down into smaller steps. This will help us stay on track and make sure we're making progress toward our desired outcome. Isn't there something in there about eating an elephant? You may be thinking of one of my favorite quotes, how do you eat an elephant one bite at a time? Yeah, that's a great analogy for setting goals and staying focused. It's important to break down our goals into smaller achievable steps so that we can take this ideal road one step at a time and eventually reach our desired outcome. What about practice? Well, practice is also important, of course. We should practice our skills and hone our craft so that we can become better at what we do. What are you doing? Oh, we're just trying to stay focused while you drone on. Okay, so you should listen up then. This will help us stay focused and make sure that we're always improving. Additionally, it's important to get feedback so that we can learn from our mistakes and continue to grow. And repetition? I think you're reading from a script. No, I just know you pretty well. Okay, I'll buy that. Repetition is also key. We should practice our skills and hone our craft so so that that we can become better at what we do. 
This will help us stay focused and make sure that we're always improving. And repetition? You already said that. Yes, I did. Oh, right. You did. I get it. Lo que sea. Additionally, it's important to repeat the process and review our progress regularly so that we can stay on track and make sure we're making progress towards our desired outcome. Soy muy emocionado. What do we do when we get there? We boogie down. We do? No. We take a moment to celebrate and appreciate the hard work that we put in. Oh, that's motivating. It's even why I started in the first place. Yeah. So let's reflect on our journey and learn from our mistakes. Because if you don't learn from your mistakes, you might as well not make them. Napoleon Hill Court detected. Hmm. Could we take a break? Absolutely. Taking breaks is important for our mental and physical health. Breaks can help us recharge and refocus so that we can come back to our task with renewed energy and enthusiasm. Additionally, it's important to reward ourselves when we reach milestones or complete tasks, as this will help keep us motivated and give us the energy to keep going. Yeah, so cutting to the chase, which break would that be? Break number one. Hello, everyone. This is John with the Simple Success Podcast, financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Because we know you want to show us some serious love in return for the tremendous benefits you get from us, please subscribe to us in your favorite podcast player. You can find us on both the App Store and the Play Store because our message is for everyone. Leave a rating for us or even better, tell a friend. Whichever you choose, thank you so much for helping us do this for you. To leave us a written message, which just might lead to more in a future podcast, go to those same written show notes to find our subreddits. There is also our Facebook group page, Twitter, and other ways which we'll tell you about from time to time. You can also find an Easter egg every so often, so listen closely. Thank you again, and keep those constructive ideas coming. Hello, hello, everyone. It's great to be here today. Where is here? Here is talking to our great audiences about these great words from a pretty decent singer. If you don't like the road you're walking, pave another one. Yep. So, I'll bet you're excited to join the conversation about making your own path. I am. It's an important topic that needs to be discussed more often. Why do you say that? Too often, we get stuck in the same patterns and routines, never really getting anywhere. If we pay attention to what Dolly said, we can pave our own roads and create our own destinies. Can we start by recognizing the potential that lies within us? No better place for me. In your opinion. That's what I just said. We have the power to create something new and different. We all make mistakes, but it's how we learn from them and keep going that will ultimately shape our destinies. Sounds like that Napoleon Hill line. Oh, you mean, if you don't learn from your mistakes, you might as well not make them? Again? Napoleon Hill Court detected. Yeah, that one. Well, thank you. There's that. Plus, we can learn more from today's guest, Andy Olin. Oh, tell us about him, s'il vous plaît. Sure thing, TD. Andy is a senior leadership trainer with a lot of experience with senior management. Much of that has come in the area of healthcare over the years, but he focuses now on helping anyone be better at what they do, and that's just perfect for our listeners. Hello, Andy. Glad to have you here with us today. Thank you so much for having me. And what I do is I am a sales and leadership trainer, and I work with, uh, as I like to say, high-performing individuals who are seeking to get better. And okay. that's a whole spectrum of things that we can certainly talk about. But you know, what I did was I spent about 20 years in the medical device, healthcare, sales, marketing, general management domain, working at companies like Abbott Vascular, Siemens, and mm-hmm. others, and had a real interesting opportunity to see leaders, the decisions they make, how they engage, how they communicate with people. And I got a chance all around the globe to see how salespeople connected, communicated, and cooperated with physicians, with procurement agents, uh, with buyers to create a winning deal. And you know what was a theme time and time again, John, was that the best deals in business, the best deals in life are ones where both sides win. 
when you put away the competition and you flex the muscle of cooperation, you really can put together deals and programs and business ventures with people where everyone walks away feeling great about the outcome and the uh, the the deal is a win on all sides. It may sound Pollyanna, yeah. but it, it really isn't. It really is the art of the No, it, it isn't. And I've found that it's completely, what, and correct me if I'm wrong, but what I think you just described is the difference between uh, having a fixed mindset which is there's only so much to go around. We've all got to fight for a piece of the pie or the growth mindset, which is to me, at least the root of win-win. Yeah. You know, uh, even deeper inside of that, and I know you like the the psychology and how psychology benefits all of us. I know your, your audience is well tuned into that. And when we think about creating winning deals at its core, is cooperation between at least two people and cooperation the word itself co together operate to work to work together okay. and this is part of our dna hey you know what there's an interesting world out there beyond the walls of the cave yeah uh, do you want to go explore that and they said sure i'll go out there and explore it with you if you stay up at night and protect me while i sleep and then we flip roles the next day we had to cooperate in order to evolve so inside of win-win today if the other party's doing that with you too, then really the sky is the limit. Right. And if your mind is already set toward a predetermined outcome, then that's how you're going to see it. I'm thinking of uh, mm -hmm. uh, Plato's The Prisoner when you, when, when you mentioned that, because it's how you perceive things is often going to, to define how you uh, approach them and how you, for, for your own sake. Yes. And, you know, deep filtering uh, that says what's in my best interest here as well. And another psychological paradigm or construct that, uh, you know, great salespeople use and uh, business leaders use in terms of being aware of this and then managing around it is something called cognitive bias. And mm -hmm. cognitive bias plays a huge role in how we make decisions. For example, if we suffer from what's called recency bias, uh, the deal that I did uh -huh. just six months ago that didn't work out so well, I'm going to be more fearful and anxious when I'm negotiating this new deal because the last one I had wasn't very good. Even though the previous 10 were fantastic, the one that was most recent is the one that trips me up more. So what leaders sure. have to do, what salespeople have to do, what high performers have to do is, as I teach them, is that when one of these cognitive biases come in, you have to be aware of it and even share it with the person that you're engaged with. Say, uh, you, you know what? I'm suffering from some recency bias here. Let me try to zoom out a little bit and get a broader and better perspective. Right. And we are all constantly bombarded with little things like that. We may not be able to define them like recency bias or anchoring or framing or things like that. Right. But we're all, we all use those tools and we all are the, uh, we'll say, beneficiaries of those tools as well. In business, especially as you are more and more of a senior leader and you're looking at making decisions, what company am I going to buy? How are we going to manage a billion dollars of cash on our balance sheet? What treasury tools do we use here? Uh, if you just went through a cryptocurrency crash, are you then going to be biased in how you think about how you deploy the corporate the cash off the corporate balance sheet. And the answer might be a little bit, and that's fine. But then you want to open up and talk about that. You want to get more inputs. And so really high performing people also suffer from something called imposter syndrome. And that's another bias mm -hmm. where, you know, the, the success I created yesterday, I don't know if I can do that again. And I look at them when I'm coaching them or engage with them and say, hey, you developed it. You did it. Why, why can't you do it 10 more times? Get right. out of your own way. Believe in yourself. But imposter syndrome is something that often high performers actually do uh, have to battle through sometimes and just rebuild that self-confidence time and time again. Totally. And one of the things that I preach a lot is practice and repetition and nothing succeeds like success. One little step at a time. You got it. Small actions, great big results. 100% correct. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time today. I really appreciate the wisdom that you've added. It's my pleasure to be with you and your audience. Thanks so much for having me, John. All right, Andy. Any further questions now, DT? Just one for now. What's that? How do we pave roads without already being rich? Oh, my dear DT, beat at this gate that let thy folly in and thy dear judgment out. Cool beans.
Doing some Shakespeare. And thy meaning doth be what? You're asking the wrong question. The question everyone wants to answer is the wrong one? I'll rephrase. It could use a bit of an addition. Meaning? Meaning that this is a deep subject and you don't have to be rich first. I guess we do say that a lot. And with good reason. Okay, so let's now dig under the surface of the question. But first, break number two. We know a lot about you already. Because we know ourselves. For example, we know that you know how to listen to a heart podcast. We also know that you probably know how to subscribe. So as soon as you're done with that, tell us your story. We have ways you can contact us. It involves a special link where you can leave us a message. We may have an email address for you as well in the future, and we'll let you know if that happens. The reason for subscribing? I thought you'd never ask. When you subscribe, you automatically download all future episodes of that podcast. It just happens in your player without you having to go search again. How cool is that? This means better rankings for the podcast, more attention from advertisers, and more money. And this means more and better stuff for you. So your motivation is simple and easy. Subscribe today, whatever app and from whatever place you like. And don't just try to subscribe. There is no try. There is only do. We're changing the way we look at things. And remember, that's good. Eso es bueno, civil. Also remember, this is financial life coaching from a happiness perspective. Coaching happiness. Our call to action is right in the show notes. Find it and you win too. It's so hard to find a simple solution when it comes to investing. ODT, just mix hard with easy and don't forget the importance of following your heart. If we take the time to really consider what's important to us and pursue that, it can lead us down an unexpected path that may provide us with more meaningful rewards in the long run. That's true. We can't always rely on a one-size-fits-all approach when it comes to investing. One size fits all. Exactly. It's important to take the time to explore different options and figure out what works best for our individual needs and goals. Plus, if we take risks, we might just discover a whole new path that can lead us to success. Yeah. Or like the quote from Dolly tells us, we just have to be willing to pave another road and take that journey on this great road of life. Then it's up to us to do the research and make sure we're taking the right steps. The right steps? The right steps for each of us. Good, so that we're comfortable. Sure, and so we happily jump right in and lead the way for others. And we do that how? We have to make sure our investments will be worth it in the long run. It's all a matter of belief. Absolutely. It's not just about making money, but also making sure we're investing in something that aligns with our values and passions. That's good. Well said. Let's all make sure to keep that in mind when making our next investment decisions. Yes, it's easy to caught up in the numbers, but but what? Something we need to remember, I'm guessing? Oh, it's just something we hear so often that we sometimes don't hear it. Which is what? Investing comes with risks. Oh, like getting out of bed does. That's good. It is. Yes, because even if something doesn't go as planned, there are always other options out there to explore. We just have to stay open and keep paving the way. Wait a minute. How could any investment not go as planned? Oh, I don't know. How could anything happen? where someone has the courage to say what could go wrong. Okay, I'll say it. There are a lot of variables that can affect an investment, so it's important to do your own research. Right, and your due diligence and make sure you understand the potential outcomes. A lot of different factors can have a significant impact on how successful an investment turns out to be. Since nothing is guaranteed. We also need to remember that no investment is ever guaranteed. Yeah, you could even hint at guaranteed when you did financial advising. Right, so it's important to be prepared for the worst case scenario. That way, you won't be taken by surprise. Exactly. We need to make sure we're aware of all the risks and rewards before investing in anything. Sure. I mean, who doesn't want to make an informed decision? And be prepared. Cop ADM. And remember that even if things don't turn out the way you wanted them to, there are still other paths to explore. You never know what might be waiting for you around the corner. Okay, but how do I know when to start paving another road? Dude, dissect that dolly quote a bit. Knowing when to start paving another road, that could be tricky. As tricky as trying to rock a rhyme that's right on time? (laughs) Don't date yourself, DT. And don't be afraid of taking risks or exploring new opportunities. I won't, I promise. I'll practice and repeat and all that. Why? Oh, I see. You're going into four-year-old mode. By asking why a lot? Yeah, you got me. 
but I will practice with a lot of new opportunities. Okay, how many this week? You won't give up if the first one isn't the best one, I hope. No, it might be good practice for another one just waiting around the corner. Okay, great. And last thing, listen to your intuition. Or as Napoleon Hill said, be respectful of hunches. If something doesn't feel right, or if you're not sure about a decision, take the time to really think it through before moving forward. Yep. We all need to remember that paving another road is an exciting journey, especially if you're willing to appreciate the surprises. That's good. Which is how you've all gotten good. Gracias por escuchar. Salut. A la prochaine. This podcast and our other podcast are productions of Little Red Hen Industries. The supporting cast who helps me bake the bread includes... Techno King, John C. Brandy, Alter Ego, Doubting Thomas, Fact Checker, A Small Brown Beef Animal, Seriously, Tiny. Facts are important but are also easy. Social Manager, Abraham Lincoln, Media Expert, Augustus Caesar. Psychologist, William James, Sound Designer, Adobe's Creative Suite, Spanish Consultant, Cameron J.K. Brandy. French consultant, Leah, the do your own research lady, videographer, Eto Monkoshki, audio props, Les Paul, inspiration, many podcasts and other sources and of course Napoleon Hill. We also have websites and you can subscribe to both podcasts. You can even send us a video, audio or text message. But of course, you'll have to head to the show notes either on your phone or on the web to get the links and stuff. And all those clickable links are in the show notes. And before we forget, the artificial intelligence or AI voices that you hear in our work are offered up by Google, Amazon Polly, and OpenAI like we say in the show notes. They don't sponsor us yet but we love what they do and we just love what AI can do when lovingly crafted. Finally, you can find us on ProtMatch.com, Matchmaker.fm, PodBooker and Podcast Guests where we consider guests and consider guesting on other people's shows. And really finally... The music for our pods comes from Cute by Ben Sound and from Piano Background by Nick Simon Adams, as well as from AI MuseNet. The sound effect credits go to Jackson Academy Ashmore, Kanusi G, Dr. Jekyll, Joe Payne, Everything Sounds, MK Play More Stories, ERH, Sand Emotions, Big Pickle 51, and Just Kidding. Yes, that's his or her name. All on freesound.org. Also, languages are the bomb. Paul. Oh.